Hey soldiers, we've got some pretty interesting testimony that was given by Caroline Ellison in the Sam Bankman Freed trial. Testimony that if it's accurate, then his alleged crimes spanned far beyond just the people who had their money with FTX. In fact, if you held Bitcoin or maybe even some other coins, allegedly, then Sam Bankman Freed tried to suppress your value, even if you were not a client of the FTX brokerage. Caroline Ellison is alleging that Sam Bankman Freed engaged a scheme to keep Bitcoin at or below $20,000. This is coming out in her testimony. It's a bombshell. Uh, again, this has ramifications for folk that are not even involved in any way, shape or form. Don't even know what the hell FTX is or was. Sam Bankman Freed conspired to keep Bitcoin price under $20,000, according to Caroline Ellison. This is an allegation that has been brought up in her testimony. Uh, Sam Bankman Freed is facing uh, his seventh day, I guess, at this point in court with former lover and ex Alameda. Research co-founder and CEO Caroline Ellison taking the stand to reveal some rather interesting details about their time together. Among the latest, Ellison noted that SBF deliberately worked to stagnate the price of Bitcoin, keep it below the $20,000 mark. All right, so how do you do this? Well, that scheme... That allegation in and of itself is extremely egregious, but as they say in late night infomercials, there's more. According to Ellison, Sam Bankman Freed had her create a balance sheet called FTX Borrows to help hide the amount of customer money that FTX had borrowed. She also added that Sam Bankman Freed had instructed her not to put anything in writing that could get the company in trouble. Okay. So that's the kind of uh, directive that you might hear from mob bosses, okay, um, numbers runners, <laughs> things like that, weapons traffickers. That should, if you ever hear that at the job or at your business, hey, don't put any of this in writing, okay? Don't document any of this stuff. Just keep it up, keep it up here. Um, you probably want to seek legal advice as soon as possible. The testimony steadily transitioned to the witness revealing how the defendant, Sam Bankman Freed, conspired to sell Bitcoin tactfully with hopes of suppressing Bitcoin's prices below $20,000 and keeping them there artificially. Uh, specifically, get this, he instructed the hedge fund to dump Bitcoin acquired from FTX customer funds to stabilize the prices. The testimony in itself implicates Sam Bankman Freed for illegally using client funds uh, in order to manipulate the market. Nevertheless, Ellison denied committing crimes in collaboration with SBF by misleading lenders, saying he had the power to fire me. Well, lady, you should have let him fire you. Okay, you couldn't see down the chessboard just a little bit to understand that you were participating and potentially participating in a security. And look, don't play dumb now. Okay, all these people are highly educated. All right. Um, and yeah, she's young, but she wasn't born yesterday. She knew what she was doing. And she has pled guilty. So she's hoping for leniency from the federal government. But she she did plead guilty. Uh, so now she's trying to say, oh, well, he could have fired me. Wouldn't that have been preferable to the position that you're in right now? Uh, she also went on to say that uh, FTX had actively pushed for regulators to clamp down on Binance, a competing exchange. It came after the jury was presented with a to-do list written by Alameda X executive Ellison, with regulators focusing attention on Binance added to the to-do list. Uh, so it looks like they wanted to kind of scuttle CZ over at Binance, knock out 
some of the competition by using regulators to do so. And remember, part of the allegations against him have to do with campaign finance contributions that were made illegally. So was he trying to use the uh, influence and power of officials that he'd contributed to to shut down another business? Needless to say, the industry and market rival rivalry between FTX and Binance were common knowledge considering they were both large players in their individual spaces. When the crisis hit FTX, Binance, Binance almost acquired that exchange, but pulled back during the last minute, ultimately sealing the fate of the exchange. Now, with regard to Binance, only days ago, a new lawsuit alleges that uh, their CEO, uh, Champing Zhao, had a vendetta against FTX. All right, so uh, filed by SBF, he claimed that it was this vendetta that drove Champing Zhao to post misleading information about the platform. Rings kind of hollow now, especially with you're sitting at the defendant's table. Ha, <laughs> Sam Bankman Freed, I mean, come on. So that's where we are uh, with the latest. But all of you folk out there that hold Bitcoin, whether you held it with his exchange or not, if these allegations are true, then, <clears throat> you know, I don't know how much success they had keeping the price at where it was. But of course, it's only a matter of looking back in time and seeing whether or not uh, during the time frame where it was at 20000 or below, if the exchange was still in operation. And I'm sure you can scour the transcripts of the testimony to find out if he was successful in doing that. And if he was, what kind of civil and or criminal penalties is he facing for that? For that matter, what about FTX being sued by the holders of Bitcoin for that? Is that a possibility? Listen, I'm no attorney. However, I have seen all of the good episodes of Law and Order. Uh, and I think, you, you know, they might have something there. But if you actually did the whole thing where you went to law school and, you know, all that jazz, weigh in. Let us know. In the meantime, check out this video. You're going to find it very informative and very helpful in terms of assisting you in strengthening your financial future. Guys, I'll talk to you soon.